this is amazing. Um, the National Health Service Corps and Nurse Corps online applications allow health providers to submit their loans for a payment, promoting service in the underserved areas of our country. This is an applicant. She is a medical professional serving in a rural town who works overtime to provide care to those in need and also to pay down her student debt. And this is the loan entry page on the current online application. Each loan requires 12 data points be manually entered by the applicant. Each loan also requires two supporting documents, an account statement and a disbursement report. Once the loan is submitted, an analyst reviews the data input on the application against the documents and inputs it into our internal system, but about one third of the time, the analyst has to reach back out to the applicant because the documents don't sufficiently support what the applicant input. The average applicant submits five educational loans. 12 data points per loan, two documents per loan, that's 20 pages of documents per applicant, taking the average applicant six days to gather and submit all of that information. And if everyone were average in 2014, that's 240,000 documents. Through research, it was determined that the U.S. Department of Education Federal Student Aid houses accurate, up-to-date data in the National Student Loan Data System, the NSLDS, that matches the loan data that our applicants are painstakingly entering and supporting with documents into our application. With the goal of integrating the NSLDS with our online application, we pioneered a intergovernmental collaboration, an interdepartmental collaboration with the Department of Ed. Um, and over the past three months of Ignite, the team has created a proof of concept and a prototype that successfully imports that data directly from NSLDS into our online application. Here it is. In the revised loan entry page, an applicant will log in directly to the NSLDS from their application, and immediately their loans will populate, negating the need for all of those supporting documents. From here, we're establishing a memorandum of understanding and an interconnectivity security agreement <coughs> with federal student aid. And we are meeting with the National Guard next month to talk about um, they want to set up a similar integration with the Department of Education. We want to share notes and lessons learned. We do plan to implement this in January 2015 for a portion of our two biggest programs. We were able to reach out to some of our recent awardees to ask what such an integration would mean for future applicants. So we believe that this is significant. It will make a big change, but in order to see just how much, how meaningful it is, we had to dig back into some of the pain that our recent applicants felt. In 2014, there were just over 71,000 loans submitted to our applications. Now remember, there are two documents required per loan. Of those, 91% are considered federal and those documents will no longer be required. We had 12,198 applicants in 2014. Remember, it takes the average applicant six days to gather and submit all of that loan information. Of those, 79% are considered federal, they have all federal loans, and 18% have a mixture of federal and private, meaning that 97% of our overall applicant pool will be affected positively by this integration. And almost 80% will have that six days eliminated. Lastly, we looked at review time. The average loan review time takes three days, and we believe that this integration will reduce our overall application review time by 50%, creating a cost savings for $625,000 every year. But we know that this functionality, the way we've designed it, is scalable. We can apply it to other portions of our, our system. And so with, a few, with another investment, we could increase that savings by a gross 39% to over three quarters of a million dollars every year. Thank you.